And I'm, gonna, I'm going to perform for you a poem that I wrote about this year. The Senior Song. Good afternoon and welcome to the Chateau, and to teachers, students, and all. It was six subjects and one month ago that we heard the call. For our exams, and one month later we are ready to forget worriedly remembered diagrams and nervous feelings of the officers. I'm here to describe the members of the young Daesh crowd, our inspiring teachers, and of course, us seniors. The education dealers, the classroom leaders, the hard-working overseers, I believe we owe it all to our teachers. Therefore, I dedicate part of this ode to the teachers that led us down the road. An adventure filled with joy and fear, ultimately completing us here. <laughs> I wrote this poem to the teachers at this time. So, let us begin this story, all in organized order. The eccentric king of C3, Mr. Grady, is always willing to share his laughs story, and from time to time a double entendre, we praise the ease with which he switched his classic genre. We could always rely on Mrs. Gardner for artistic insight, and to work until the last glimpse of daylight. The moments that we shared showed the art class that she cared. The young and hip Mr. Daniel's passion was extensively explained to show his compassion. This did not restrict a multilingual mode of expression, nor did it slow his quick and persistent progression. Even when your students refuse to do anything but days, stories of your class never cease to amaze. Explanations for stragglers is what you could remember. Your favorite class thanks you, Mrs. Men. The one man good cop, bad cop, the ground floor, Mr. Regan, is ready to quell the library. <laughs> At the drop of a hat, he'll speak about any sport. He was generous enough not to put all my latest in the report. <laughs> Madame Bourbon and Madame de Lacan. La gourmande et la gourmette. Vous serez toujours le meilleur professeur de français. Votre sens de l'humour et votre aimabilité vous a gagné notre respect. Nous vous oublierons jamais. Motorbike rider, punk rocker, chemistry teacher. Mr. Hearn's chemistry jokes made his class a little sweeter. He managed to reduce his, get his students' stress reduced with the occasional confidence boost. Dr. Beaumaire and Mrs. Ferrar. We were not as present in our second year, however, they were always near. But when we fell behind and asked for help, they wouldn't mind. Dr. Bardin, your students tried desperately to incorporate your intelligence and beauty into a joke perfectly. <laughs> the only one that got their satisfaction had something to do with magnets and attraction. <laughs> Ben Hunter, cast coordinator, master of fun. <laughs> Up to date on all the gossip, on the lookout for a waffle and a bun. <laughs> While Katie Hunter is mocking genius, gives the school its style, and she warms our heart with her generous smile. The mother Teresa of mathematics, Mrs. Colley, smiles at all the students. With an oh my and an oh lord, all of her <laughs> Mrs. Altman, the catalog crusader, who fights for honesty fervently, who looks over bibliographies with uncertainty. She joked of selling her mother for a waffle. She smiles to see any student engulfed in a novel. <laughs> the brilliant Dr. Hogan is revered by all our students, even though she is not afraid to use her Irish accent to intimidate any of you. have all grown with your students, using English as your tool. Your students believe that you are honestly cool. <laughs> Dr. Sakia, your warm and caring nature conceals your wealth of knowledge, from teaching us English to sending us to college. In troubled times, she filled our, pre our predecessor's shoes with ease. She listens to all her students' pleas, it is enough to say that she dots the I's and crosses the T's. We thank the teachers whom we admire, who work every day and never seem too tired. But now we must move on to the students of the international sect, memories of whom will not soon leave my recollection. It all began two years ago with the profile of an ideal student, something to which we could aspire. It became something of which I am fluent. Altogether and individually we are 
mid-class secret snackers, day before the deadline slackers, but none of us are so far. We are impressive students of the basic guitar. We are all on our way to chef. We are the late students who arrive out of breath. Nous sommes tous bizarres de notre propre manière. Nous avançons dans notre vie sans oublier l'école qu'on venait faire. On y est tous arrivés, même si on ne peut pas le croire. Nos deux ans ensemble sont déjà une belle histoire. In the end, we ask, what does it mean to graduate? What does it mean to be labeled by a string of exams as more than adequate? It means that we can look back high school and exhale, step up to college for learning in higher detail. It means we will each go our separate ways and on our own strive to amaze. Visit often and count the days until we meet in Paris street cafes. It also means that we will miss Amitaj dearly, that we will see the best memories clearly, from testing eyesight in India to Peru and chasing a pig, all the way through watching a teacher wear coconuts in a wig. <laughs> from India to Peru, South Africa to Britain, Amitaj and its students' participation in Britain. So today we wear green to represent the passing of the class of 2013. We have all surpassed expectations, so to our class I say congratulations. And I would not like to end on a note that is too cheesy. So I thank our teachers, our parents, our students, and to my friend Gazza, I say easy. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>